Hello everybody. Our next camera is the Yashica Dental I3. Uh, it was made from 1997 to 2006. The body's based on the Contax RX. This is from the Kyocera years where they were manufacturing uh, Yashica and Contax. It has a fixed 100 millimeter f4 lens. It's five elements in three groups. Um, it's macro only. It will not focus to infinity. It was made for dentists getting in there and taking pictures of what's going on in your mouth, hence the name. So there was no need for it to focus to infinity. It's close focus when it's at uh, one to one macro ratio and they show the distances down here. It's 15 and a half centimeters and it sets it to f22 and then it's furthest focus when it's at 1, 5, 1 to 15 macro ratio it's at f4 and that's 155 centimeters so that's its farthest focus so the focus the macro ratio and the f-stop are all set with this one honking ring on the lens. With the flash on, which I think was pretty much expected, um, the shutter is 1 125th of a second. The flash itself has uh, three different tubes or elements um, and you get three selections here. On, where all three of the xenon tubes fire. Off, where none of them fire and then it has a flash 2 setting where the bottom two uh, pieces of the flash fire and leaves the top one off and that was so that you could get uh, shadows so you, that you could have some contrast. It does have a hot shoe for an external flash it has an external contact I think that's probably just for flash ready the full-on body, the Contax RX had a lot more contacts for uh, smarter flashes. And the manual does not say what flashes are specifically compatible with this. If you have the flash turned off, the f-stop is fixed at f4, but then the shutter, and it's in basically aperture priority mode at that point, with the, sh with the f-stop fixed at f4, it'll vary the shutter from 16 seconds to one four thousandth of a second. So they left the really good shutter from the Contax RX. There's just barely any way to get to it to control it. Um, it is a vertically traveling metal shutter. Um, it also has an exposure compensation dial. It's only one stop in either direction, but it is in third stop steps. And there's a 10 second self timer. You can activate it with this button right here. And I use that quite a bit when I had it on a tripod just to keep things stable. Because when you're at one to one, it's like using a really long zoom. Um, everything is amplified, the tiniest little vibration. Um, there is a cable release but it is not mechanical. It's electronic. It uses the uh, Contax or Yashica cable switch L. I haven't checked. I think it's just a single you know, ground power contact in there, but I haven't uh, dived into that to include you up a remote. It has a date back. I left that disabled. It uses a separate battery underneath this little door right here. Um, again, if it's like the full-on Contax RX body, uh, it actually puts the date in between the frames so you don't have that uh, ugly seven segment uh, LED looking date you know, right on your image. And again, uh, like the RX, if it's like the RX, the date maxed out at uh, December 31st, 2019. So it wouldn't really help anyway, and I rarely use those. The camera is powered by one 2CR5 6 volt battery, or they also had an optional adapter that plugged in here, so you could plug it into the wall. And that makes sense why eat batteries if the thing is never going to leave a dentist exam room. 
and that power supply is four and a half volts DC at two amps. Other accessories available for this, there was a diopter, which was only meant to be used when this thing was all the way, and it actually gave you two to one uh, macro ratio. There was a mirror set, which is almost like what the dentists have already for being able to get you know behind things that you couldn't really get to with the lens. And then there were uh, various diopters which fit over the eyepiece, just like uh, the rubber eye cup, which I don't have for this. Um, some people get these to take them apart um, to you know use this pretty sweet macro lens on other bodies. I don't think I'm going to do that because then I would have a cool macro lens but then I would have what is essentially a crippled RX body. Um, supposedly if you uncover, I think it's this piece right here, there actually is a regular uh, CY mount for this lens but then it's also wired into the flash so there's quite a bit of disassembly you have to do to get the thing off. There's a few videos and uh, blogs and instructables about taking these lenses off if you want to do that. My test roll was uh, some Kodak Supra 100. It's color print film. It was discontinued in 2003. So that gives you an idea of how expired it was. But the stuff lasted. I don't even remember where I got it. I've had it in the freezer since I've had it but I think I got it at a thrift store, so who knows. And I was going to try and get some close-ups of our new kitten, Storm, but this is what he's like most of the time. So anyway, macro shots of the kitten probably uh, wouldn't have worked out so well. But I did get some wonderful, wonderful shots. I was really happy with them. So I'm not sure. I might run another roll through this guy. I don't know if it's a keeper. I have a version 1 I need to prep and see if it's in good enough shape to shoot with. So I will see you then.